Yo, guys, finally back in it. I can focus on videos for a little while, so won't be late anymore, which is great. Although, might try to keep uh, the edits down to a minimum. These edits have been going hard lately. I don't know, at least I think they're pretty cool. Um, I do spend a lot of time editing. As you can see, I posted that one at 6 a.m. because I was late editing for like eight hours on it, which might not seem like a lot, but when I'm doing all this other stuff, it adds up pretty quick. So today, just wanted to look at can tar uh, removers remove bug stains as well as bug stain removers. So I've seen some videos and things where people are like, or not videos, but I've seen like comments and stuff where people are like, oh, I just use tar remover uh, and it works as a bug stain remover and vice versa. I wanna compare one, if we use the tar remover on the glass, will it work? Also I wanted to test the bug stain remover in a separate area. And then lastly, I'm just gonna test foaming down the car with foam and then just rinsing it all out because it does recommend in the bug remover to rinse the car or wash the car after. And it does say to use reset specifically, but I'm just gonna use my old, good old built hammer because I know that little acidic car wash. I'll probably not got some bug stains too, why not, right? I'm gonna be trying to test all three of those options and see if you really need a bug stain remover. <clears throat> I know you need a tar remover because if you get tar on your car, yeah, that's a little difficult. But when I first bought the tar remover, I was like, oh, people are saying I can also use it as a bug remover, so I don't need bug remover. And then one day I thought to myself, man, I haven't really been able to use tar remover at all. I, it's such a rare thing to see and I bought a gallon of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna test it out. I'm gonna mask off certain parts of the windshield so you'll be able to see which part is which and then we'll come back with the results. As you can see, it's pretty buggy right now. I've been letting these bug stains marinate for about three weeks. So I did, took a little uh, trip up north and you know, that means you get a lot of bugs. One bucket army. You know, I gotta do it. So these should be pretty well set in by now. As I said, it's been three weeks. You know, they're a little hard to see on the glass, but there's a ton in the front of the car too. You know, I'll do a little bit there as well. Hopefully we can get some good results here. So ultimately the question is, can you use tar removers or do you even need, okay, wait, this is a weird question. The question is, do you need bug stain removers or can you just get away with using things like tar remover or foam? So. That's, uh, I think that was all right wording. So unfortunately, I'm gonna be giving you guys some limited angles today. I am trying to take pictures from my website, so I want them to be as consistent as possible, and that means I can't move the camera's rotation or anything like that. Um, I could change the height, but uh, I don't think it'll, you know, hit the right level. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna mask off part of this front area. And this B, oh my gosh, why does every butt, Every single freaking video features some kind of bug lately. So I'm testing in rather small areas, but there's so many bug stains, guys. This is actually ridiculous how many there are. And I'm also gonna do the same thing for the glass. This is a little difficult. I guess I could do this. I can raise you up. You raise me up. I'm gonna do like boxes on the windshield just cause there aren't as many bug stains here. Ooh. Oh, guess I ran out of tape. I just dropped the, the roll and just rolled away. <laughs> we'll just consider this part to be the foamed area, this part to be the bug remover, and this part to be the tar remover. Bug remover, tar remover, nothing. Got that? Another thing is, is they say to apply these bug and tar removers not in direct sunlight. Well, as a mobile detailer, like that's the only thing I can do really is to apply in direct sunlight unless I'm working at night. So this will also be a good test to see, like does it really matter much? Will it like make it so these things do nothing. I don't know. I'm thinking they should still work because these are kind of at an angle of light. They're not getting directly blasted by the sun yet. It's not noon. All right, so I've got my bug remover and tar remover. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray it onto the surface. It says to let it dwell for a little bit, but you know, I'll give it like maybe two to three minutes. You don't need to let it dwell more than that though. Um, they say five minutes max. And uh, then I'm just gonna wipe it up. And then I'm gonna do a foaming on the whole car. And uh, hopefully I don't blast away this painter's tape. It only really withstands so much, so I may accidentally blast it away. For reference, I'm using CarPro Bugout and then CarPro Tar Tarx or something like that. Then I also got just the Built Hammer Auto Foam to finish it all off, so that'll be the cleaner. And why am I so nervous? Well, freaking be. Can it kill bugs? Live action too. The bug remover is way more foamy than this uh, tar remover is. So I got all of it applied. I'm gonna let it sit for three minutes, so hit the time lapse, brother. Oh, 
Look at how sick this is. This is such a cool time lapse, guys. Movers down here. There's a big splat too, so that should be interesting. So I imagine if you're doing a car normally, you could probably just spray on this bug remover real fast and then just foam it down pretty much right after. And then you'll have both the foam and the bug remover, or maybe you could throw the bug remover in your foam. I would probably wouldn't do that, but uh, this could make for a pretty uh, efficient cleanup process. Like you'd be able to clean it all up in one go with the pressure washer rather than having to wipe it down by itself. And I might try that, you know what? So I'm gonna get also a little spot with some of the bug remover and it's gonna be on the right side. But I'll get it with just the bug remover and I'm not gonna agitate it after. And I'm just gonna do the pressure wash and see if it helps. So we'll have another section and I'll show it to you guys. So now that I've showed you that I can't do time lapses without talking, it's been about three minutes so I'm gonna Wipe all this stuff up. I'll give you guys a close up too, so you don't have to be cranking your necks for this. Now, I'm not trying to agitate too hard because that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to have to, you know, agitate it into oblivion or anything like that. So immediately I'm not too impressed. You know, maybe it's just because I didn't apply enough of it. The tire remover didn't really do anything. And then, you know, this is where it was with nothing. So you can see the three levels. The tar remover did do a little bit, but I'm sure it's just because I wiped it with a microfiber towel. As for the glass, this is where the bug remover was. Pretty good. And this is where the tar remover was. Bug remover. Tar remover. And then no remover. Quite an array of stuff going on here. The bug and tar remover both worked well on the glass and you know I wiped the top area and there's still bug stains so they both cleared it there but on the front area probably where you're gonna see more of those bug stains like if you have a big truck or something the bug remover did a little bit better I will say uh, as you can see but the tar remover also you know did remove a little bit and that's probably just because of the microfiber towel stuff. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rinse off the whole car it's gonna be a little tricky washing this whole car like this, but I don't have a ton of room. Markings on the ground don't get messed up. Got the foam on there. I'm gonna do what I usually do and just let it sit for a little bit. Yeah, we can compare all the three different result sets. Gonna see what we're looking at. So I noticed where the bug stain remover was. It's a lot runnier there, probably just because it was a little more liquid. Really hoping this painter tape sticks, guys. If not, we still got a rough idea what it all looks like. But I got a lot of stuff to do today, and I wanted to get a lot of it done while it's still light out. So we can still test, it just might not be the most high quality video test. You know what I'm saying? Like if you put a bucket on this, like, it's basically brand new. All right, let's rinse this thing off. up there because I want to show you guys as much as possible I'm gonna dry the car up in the front area where we kind of did the test and we'll see if most of that bug stains got out <clears throat> keep in mind I did let these sit for three weeks so it's not like you know I just got them and I'm taking them off I did let them sit for quite a while but sometimes you'll see these really stubborn bug stains and maybe that's where these kinds of cleaners come in See, after the foam, this is where the bug stain remover was. Looks a little bit better, but there's still a little stain there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Tar remover is also looking better, but you know, not as good as the bug stain 
one. This is the side with uh, just foaming. Um, this is the other side with the bug stain remover, but no agitation. So I just foamed on top of it. Bug stain remover, tar remover, man, I'm getting sweaty. And <laughs> that's not this one. Um, this one is the, uh, just the foam. It seems like the glass cleans up really easily regardless of what you're using to clean it. However, the paint's a little bit of a different story. It definitely looks the best where I did the bug remover. It's not perfect by any means, but uh, it definitely did cinch out a lot of more of that bug stain. Um, whereas where the tar remover was, didn't really do anything. It kind of looks maybe a little tiny bit better than where I foamed, just because I probably agitated it. <sighs> it's getting really hot out here, guys. I'm just gonna hand wash it, rinse it down, and then, oh shoot, I gotta fill up a bucket. I keep breaking my sentences. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then we'll kind of see if the hand wash helps at all or not really. I'll bring you guys over to watch it. Also, there's no grit guard in here anymore. Massive W. I found that grit guards were kind of just a waste of time. Just change how you think instead of changing the things you need. So as always, I'm going to start with the shaded area of the car when I do my hand wash. And I'll work my way to the sunny area. I know we don't care about this part of the car too much for this test, but... Might as well just take you along the whole process. Get that 10 minutes, nah, I can't even make money off YouTube. I just do it for the fun, for the love of detailing. Huzzah! A bunch of water spotting on here. Actually, it's probably because I didn't dry the whole car like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Whoops. So I'm just doing a standard agitation so I'm not like really blasting it in or anything. Paint's still holding up great from when I did that repair a while ago too. So I'm gonna rinse it off. Man, what did my shoe get untied? What the heck? Ah, dang it. Wow, I'm starting to sweat bad. Sheesh. Just picture, uh, don't picture anything. I need a drying towel for myself. So I'm just gonna start drying it off. We'll, you know, give it a few minutes, come back and see what's going on. Well, why are you using a drying towel, you filthy animal? It's just cause it's a little easier to maneuver than a freaking 500 decibel leaf blower. Oh gosh, my shoelaces, they're all fudged up now. We just got that blueberry tree going on, if you guys remember the adventure series we went on. You know, after seeing this just two-step wash, I'm not so sure I really find bug remover too necessary, but uh, we'll see when we get to the front. I mean, you could always just prep a car by throwing some on the front, perhaps, and then just do your standard two-bucket wash method. I mean, whoa. I'm a traitor. You do the one bucket wash method. The signature of the one bucket army. How could I have blundered so hard? Jeez Louise, that was embarrassing. Oh my gosh, that's why my freaking mirror was shaking so much. Sheesh. I guess I didn't push it back all the way last time. Now this is a test that can follow the scientific method, you know? Nothing really quantitative. Mostly qualitative data, of course. I just cleaned this thing and a bug's already wanting a piece of it. Get out of here, you rat. Why is there a fly on my camera? Okay, anyway, 
This is after the two-step with the bug remover, after the two-step with the tar, after the two-step without any. And that's the same thing on the glass. Hopefully we can get a good representation for you guys. So you can really understand if you need bug remover. Keep in mind, I had these bug stains for about three weeks. It wasn't super long, but it also wasn't really short. So it wasn't like, you know, I got them yesterday and I'm taking them out now. That would be a totally different story. I wouldn't even need any bug remover for that. This is the bug remover two-step wash on the glass. Um, you can see it's pretty good. This is with the tar remover, also pretty good. And then with just the wash, also really good. So, um, you know, do you need bug and tar remover for cleaning glass? Nope. You can just do a simple two-step wash. Even after three weeks, you're good. As for the front, this is a bit of a different story. You can see here, there still is a bug stain in that one area. I'm sure if I literally just threw on some more bug remover or whatever and just agitated it again, it would go away. It's very small at this point, but you know, the rest of it cleaned up fairly well. Here in the middle, we have the tar remover, which is also pretty good. There still is one bug stain like right here. I mean, I can't tell if you guys can see this stuff or not, but I'm sure it'll come up. I and mean, there's one up here, so it didn't do as good of a job as the bug remover did. The bug remover pretty much removed everything except for that one little, or two little stains on the glass. And that was probably because, or not glass, plastic. That was just probably because I was being a, a wimp with it. In the third area, this is without the bug or tar remover, and it looks pretty crappy. Seems like the bug stains mostly dig into plastic and clear coat. So you don't have to worry about glass, but you definitely have to worry about your paint looking like crap. If you are gonna use bug remover, make sure that the bug stains are on your paint because it will actually do a pretty good job of removing it. Whereas the tar does a little bit, but not nearly enough to you know satisfy the needs of someone like me. Just a member of the one bucket army. You guys seeing this? Like I'm sweating like mad out here. Don't ask where I got this towel. So conclusions are this guys. Why why are you so tall? Man, I feel like a shrimp. Conclusions. <laughs> I swear I can't speak in a straight sentence sometimes. So bug remover is definitely a good tool, chemical to have for those details where you're trying to get out like heavy bug stains, especially in paint and plastics. So if you notice things like your grill, uh, your paint or your headlights, that's where you're gonna be using most of this stuff. You don't really need to use it on glass which is good to know because that'll save you a little bit of product. Probably not like you're gonna be using this stuff a ton. Uh, it's, you know, I mean, you're only gonna really need it for people who drive a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. I drove about 30 miles, no, not 30 miles, maybe like 15 miles a day average, so not much. And, you know, this was after a big two and a half hour road trip, you know, one way. You know, unless you're doing like an hour drive every day, you probably won't find this too useful. But if you are someone who drives a lot and you find yourself with a lot of bug stains and you don't clean your car necessarily every single day or week or whatever obsession you have, then, um, or whatever obsession, <sighs> whatever obsession you don't have is what I meant to say, then you might be good with grabbing some of the stuff. It does do a good job. You might need to give it one or two love taps. I know that if I just threw some on right now, it would be 100% clean. I did put the painter tapes over some bug stained area, but the tape kind of just pulled some of it off. You know, sometimes you have a video idea and you're like, eh, I don't know. That's kind of like the Dawn dish soap one. Apparently a lot of people do that. Actually, I was looking at videos and there's a ton of videos about it. So I thought be, I was being kind of unique, but I guess I wasn't. You know, all my video ideas just come either from me watching shorts at some point or just from, so with the tape going coming off, there's not really a big difference. So yeah, honestly, you can get away with, honestly, uh, I don't even know what to say. One bucket army. <laughs> Yo, I look so cool right now. Here I was squatting for like 10 minutes thinking I was looking all cool. And I just look like a, probably like a black spot on the screen. I mean, the ISO is probably a little messed up with the sun angle. Camera stuff. Anyway, um, you know, I gotta get to live stream on one of these days. And also I'd still have the Discord to do it, don't think. Don't think I forgot about that. I've just been insanely busy and it doesn't seem to be dying up much. So I always think of new stuff to, you know, either work on or do. So constantly add into the workflow, which is good. It's keeping me busy. But yeah, you guys will see that stuff eventually. Um, I know it's taken longer than expected. I don't know what expected was in the first place, but it's longer. And uh, yeah, so, uh, man, this is not easy to hold. So I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this little bug stain demonstration. Pretty simple stuff, pretty cool though. And uh, I think you'll find that you'll have a good amount of success just with some of these more individualized products. Like people were saying that you could use tar remover to get bug stains out, but 
you know, that's definitely not true after seeing this video and testing it myself. It was something I actually bought tar remover for, and I told you guys that earlier. <sighs> yeah, one bucket arm in it. I gotta stop doing that. It's not even funny at this point. It's just like, dude, get on with it. Yeah. So I'm telling you, yes, you. <laughs> to shut the hell up. Yeah, all right. Don't discount necessarily specialized products. They might seem like a little bit of hoo-ha, but some of them are actually pretty good, and Bug Out was definitely one of them. I don't think it's like exceptional or like insanely amazing, but it does help. You would ideally want something that just takes care of it instantly, but you can't always get that, so we'll take this one. We'll call it a W. As for the one I was using, I was using Car Pro Bug Out. It's gonna do as well as the price tag. It's up to you whether you want to get that one or a different one. I'm sure there's way better ones out there. I've never seen anybody recommend Car Pro Bug Out. I was already buying a few things from their site, and so it just made sense for me to do that. Plus, I had like a bunch of store credit um, from, you know, an incident. They shipped me some Tarex, and it all, like, about half the bottle leaked, so I asked for some of the the price back and just says store credit and they were okay with that. Decided to finally cash in on that. All right guys, one bucket army.